think I can fly Think I can fly When I'm with you My arms are wide Catching fire as the wind blows I'm a bad I'm rich enough for pride I see a billion dollars in your eyes Even if we're strangers till we die Poppin', what's going on? I haven't made a video in a month. I'm sorry we do this every time. Um, today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me for a semi formal, and I am currently really sick, look like a boy, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my makeup. And I kind of have a plan of what I want to do, but I haven't done it yet, so let's hope it turns out cute. Let's just get started. Also, I'm gonna be talking through this video and explaining what I'm doing as I do it because I feel like it's a lot easier for you guys to follow along and just like understand what I'm doing because I can't film voiceovers since I don't have a microphone and it just sounds really bad so that's what we're gonna do. PV blenders are great except it's so annoying that every time you use it you have to go and wet it and you're already comfortable and it's just like I used to use like a makeup sponge thing that I just got from Sephora and this is 10 times better. Beauty blenders literally make such a difference. I don't it's just a sponge but it works so well and yeah I'm gonna be using the Maybelline BB cream in, um, I almost said SPF 30, in light sheer tint, and this does have SPF in it, which isn't, like, great, because SPF has, like, flashback, if you're using flash for, um, pictures, but this is the only thing I have right now that matches my pale-ass face, so we're gonna be using this, and, yeah, I'm just gonna apply this all over my face, and then blend it out afterwards. Beauty blenders literally just give you such an airbrush like finish. It's just 10 out of 10, honey. I also love BB cream because it feels like you're not wearing makeup at all. It's just like a tinted moisturizer. It's like a second moisturizer. It's great. I love BB cream. I've only ever tried out the Maybelline one. So if you guys have ever tried out BB creams that you like, give them a comment down below and I'll try them out. I've been really into trying new makeup lately. So... A lot of the products I'll be using, I haven't used before. I already just remembered that I forgot to put on a primer. Go me. Off to a good start. <laughs> okay, now that that's all blended in, I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And this is in the color... Does it say though? Hold on. This is in the color Fair because I am fair. I'm very pale. So... I'm gonna give that a couple winds up and then apply this under my eyes in a triangle. This is just really gonna help brighten up your face. Some on the bridge of your nose, pubes, bow, chin. Basically put it all over your face. It's like a second foundation. <laughs> just put it on areas where you wanna highlight. Now that that's all blended in, I'm going to start my contour. I'm using a cream contour because I find that those are... Yeah. I'm going to be using a cream contour because I find that those work a lot better. I'm using this Tarte The Sculptor Stick and I love this so much. It just, it works so much better. Like I find using a cream contour and then setting it with a powder is just like, it makes it look so natural. And just like, did she contour? I don't know. Are those her cheekbones? Probably. I'm just going to be applying it on my cheekbones and then like a tad on my jaw just to make it look like a little bit sharper you know and then I'm gonna apply some on my temples to make me look not as pale let's do it then I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my temples and a tiny bit on my jaw And I'm going to be using my beauty blender, but I use the bottom of it to blend this out. You can like already notice a chiseled effect. It just makes such a huge difference. I love contouring. It's just 
so great. I really want to get the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. I have the powdered one, but I don't, I don't love it. Like it's okay, but I feel like the cream one would be a lot better and easier to work with. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take my Age Rewind concealer again and just put this under where I contour to make the line sharper. Some people do this at the same time that they blend their contour out, but I like doing it after so I can have more control over where I want the highlight to be, and then I just kind of blend it downwards. Then I'm gonna be going in with my Institute Contour Kit and taking the gray toned middle color. I like this gray tone one more than any of the others just because it looks a lot more natural and the shadows on your face are naturally gray toned. So it helps if you use a gray tone contour color. How many times can we say gray toned? And I'm just taking this on a Real Techniques brush and setting my cream contour with it. Okay, now you have a Kim K contour. Then I'm taking my MAC 130 and I'm just gonna blend all of this out to make it look less harsh. Okay. Next, taking a loose powder, I'm just gonna be applying this under my contour and then you leave this on for a couple minutes and then brush it off afterwards and you're left with a really clean cut line. Oh. I'm just gonna let this set for a couple minutes and then brush it off afterwards. Next, we're going to blush, which is my fave. I'm taking this Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette and I'm taking the bronzer and the blush and mixing them together and putting that on my cheek. It creates the most natural, like, flush to look to your face and I love it. I'm just taking this fluffy brush and I'm gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. It literally just gives you the most natural, flush look and I love it so much i never used to be a blush person but now it's like my favorite thing it just makes you look so awake i love like look at that difference now i'm just gonna brush off the powder that i put under my contour last but not least for face i'm gonna be doing a highlight and i'm gonna be taking my laura mercier um, highlight in 01 matte radiance baked powder and it just looks like this it's so pretty i've used so many highlighters and this is by far my favorite one i'm going to be taking the same brush that i used to apply my blush and i just apply this on the top of my cheekbones the bridge of my nose my cute bow and like a tad on my chin and then i'm going to take that on the bridge of my nose that's it for the face makeup. Now I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. You can use this before you put on your makeup or after. I'm going to be using it now because it's going to make my makeup last all night. And yeah, so I'm just going to spray this on my face. And let that soak in. Now taking my Lemonade by Benefit, I'm going to apply this all over my eye from the eyelid to my brow bone. This is just like a yellow based cream color that you can use to cancel out redness and veins which I have on my eyes. For the whole eyeshadow look I'm going to be using my Tarte Lip Palette. I love this palette so much. I did a New Year's makeup tutorial with this. I'll have that link down below. Check it out. To start off this look I'm going to be taking Free Spirit which is just like this cream color and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take a wander and just apply this into my crease, and this is just going to be like a transition color. It doesn't matter if it's messy or not because it's going to be covered over anyway. I'm really just going for a simple look, so I'm not going to do too much eyeshadow or anything like that crazy 
I feel like this color shows up super orangey on camera, but it's not. It's just like a neutral brown. Next, I'm taking a color that's a little bit darker. This is called Dreamer. It's just like a chocolate brown. And I'm going to blend this into my outer V. Next, we're gonna be taking the color Free Spirit again, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid with my finger. Then I'm taking my blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend this all out. The key to creating like any gradient is just to blend, honey. Like spend five minutes blending if you have to. Then I'm gonna go in with Force of Nature and just kind of blend this all out to make it look less harsh. Okay, I need to do something with my eyebrows because I literally can't stand looking at them. I'm just going to spoolie them out and then use my Anastasia eyebrow wig in chocolate and fill them in really naturally. I don't like to do anything like... Oh my god, I'm almost out of this! I don't like to do anything too crazy with my eyebrows. I first do a line underneath of my eyebrow and then I slowly fill in. If you've never used the Anastasia eyebrow wig, I highly recommend it. It's so good and super easy to work with. I've had this for like three months and I'm just running out of it now, so it lasts a while as well. I'm going to be using my, I almost said Benefit, but no, Essence Gimme Brow, and this is identical to the Gimme Brow by Benefit. I've used that one for like two years, and then I finally was like, I don't want to spend another $30 on this. So I got this one, and it's honestly the exact same thing. I love it even more because it's only $3. So I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows with this. This also matches my eyebrows perfectly. Like, I think it's a little, a little cray, so I'm gonna spoolie them one more time. Now these look a little bit more natural, a little bit tamed down. I'm just gonna be applying many coats of this Stretch X mascara. That's all for mascara, and I'm gonna add like a little highlight in my inner corner. I'm gonna use this cream one, and this is by the brand Avon. I'm just taking some of this on an eyebrow brush, and I'm gonna apply this into my inner tear duct just to make my eyes pop. To finish the eyes off, I'm just gonna take this color Super Mom and apply this on my brow bone just to highlight. Now we're gonna move on to lips. Long story short, I lost my favorite MAC lipstick, which was Max Honey Love. I'm sure you guys all know that I love that because I used it in like every video. But anyway, I didn't wanna have to go out and spend like 20 more dollars on a lipstick when I know I'm gonna like find it again. I just don't know where it is right now. So I got a dupe and this is by Rimmel. It's a Kate Moss one and it's number 14. This is literally identical to Max Honey Love. But before I'm gonna take this lip liner by Annabelle in the color Buff and just line my lips. Now I'm just going to go in with my lipstick. 